Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to share and talk about mandatory questions in creating COBOL toolbox questions. Uh, right now we're going to talk about how to make a, man, uh, a question mandatory and how not to make it mandatory. Then we see how to use custom, custom logic. Uh, in Cobra Collect. So let's create a few questions. We'll do it from scratch. And then uh, we see what how we can learn from it. So we're calling our project mandatory questions. And then let's just select anything. Okay. Okay, so we are creating project. Uh, so what I want you to see very well, uh, our first question is going to be, what is your name? What is your name? I'm going to increase on my, my, my screen so that at least you're all able to see my question. So what is your name? Uh, let us make this a text and then uh, my second question is going to be, um, where do you come from? So let's say maybe country, country of origin. Then uh, here we're going to select one. So we're going to say maybe Uganda. We say D R. Diara Congo. Then we say Kenya. Kenya. Then we say maybe Tanzania. Tanzania. So after that, we are going to also ask a question maybe, how old are you? How old, how old are you? This can be a number. And then we ask you maybe if you can drive, <laughs> if, if maybe someone can drive. So can you drive? Um, can you drive? Okay, so these are the questions I'm going to use for now. And then can you drive, let it be a select one. And then we say yes or no. Yeah, these are questions. So I wanted to make maybe my first question, a mandatory question, what is your name? Let someone be able to answer this question. So I just come to this setting part and then I tick mandatory mandatory response. However, before I take you more further, I wanted to explain to you these three responses. I have yes, I have no, I have custom logic. So once I click no, a no is selected by default meaning. Uh, this meaning that the question is not mandatory. Once I click here, the question will not be mandatory. And then if I click yes, this means that the question must be answered. Once you leave it blank, it will bring an error. And then when I come to custom logic, uh, you see when you click on custom, custom logic, it brings mandatory when the formula is true. So meaning that you have to create a formula for this question to be answered. You get the point? Uh, it is used maybe if you want a specific user to answer a particular question. Let's maybe have an example, maybe I'm 18 years and uh, maybe I shouldn't drive when I'm below 18. You can use this custom logic to get what you want. So I'm making this question a mandatory question. And then when I come to preview, sorry, when I come to preview, 
I wanted you to see this difference. Okay. Okay, our questions are here. Learning mandatory questions. So you can see this star here. It is only applied to what is your name. So if I don't, if I ask this question, maybe Jonathan. If I answer Jonathan, that means that I can even leave these other three questions unanswered. And if I were dead, this question is varied. But again, once let, let's assume that maybe I've not answered the question. I leave it blank, I come and I answer. You can see this field is required and you can't go any further before you answer that question. Yeah, so that is how you how you can apply a skip logic in Cobalt Collect. However, let's talk more about uh about this whatever this custom logic part uh, let's assume that maybe i only want people above 18 years only to make this question mandatory so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to i'm going to come to drive i'll come to drive question so once i click on drive question i'm going to also come to custom because it's what I wanted to apply. So after there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make use of how old are you, this here. So I'll copy the way it is. After that, I come to my, uh, can you drive? I'll just copy this part here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in the front here. I put a dollar sign. That is a dollar sign. After that, I open my blankets. And then I say, how old are you? Then I close my blankets. After that, I say, greater than 80. Hope you can see that. So that's the only formula we have used. So once I come, once I come again and I preview my form, let's try to be together. When I preview my form, you can see Jonathan, maybe Jonathan, Jonathan, and then I'm from maybe Uganda. How old are you? Maybe um, 12 years. Now, when I come, when I say 12 years and I press enter, let's see, maybe let's write it. The form is varied. Now you see there's nothing that is applied here. But when we make maybe 23, I mean 21 years, you can see this question have become a must. Hope you can see this there. And if we make maybe five, and then we press enter, it goes away. If we make maybe 30, we press enter, it comes back. So this is how best you can use custom logic to at least make some specific questions mandatory. Hope you can see this. Yeah, so, Thank you so much. I beg to leave from here. That's how best we can make our questions mandatory and not mandatory using both uh, yes logic and then cust uh, custom logic. Thank you so much. And uh, continue watching our videos as we are bringing more on 